Okay, in this video we're going to discuss the crown veneering structure, crown framework, and pontic framework global parameters. Now you'll notice that specifically on the crown framework and pontic framework, you'll see these frameworks with a transparent full contoured tooth over the top. And what these mean are these are the framework parameters used uh, when using multi-layer function. Meaning when you design a, a single unit or a bridge in multi-layer mode like CAD-ON or Vita rapid layer, uh, when you reduce that full contour into the framework structure, these are the parameters for those frameworks. Okay, so if you're doing a full contour or a three unit Emacs CAD bridge, for instance, you design it full contour, reduce it into the frameworks. These will be your abutment frameworks for the crown framework, and the pontic framework parameter will be here. Now, the part that's reduced, meaning the veneering structure, will be the crown veneering structure. So these are very, very tricky parameters uh, considering. So you have to think of, of multiple things when setting these parameters, uh, meaning that you're going to have the spacer of the framework, and then you're going to have the minimal thickness of the framework, then the spacer of the veneering structure, and the minimal thickness of the veneering structure. It's probably the, one of the most complicated things in InLab 4.0 is getting these right. So let's start with crown veneering structure. These are going to be the veneering structures over the top of the multi-layer frameworks. And again, you, you have a lot of the similar parameters you're used to seeing. We've already been through many times the anterior basic shape and the posterior basic shape. Now the spacer, going now remember, these are going over the top of that reduced framework. So you, you're going to need to give it a little bit more spacer in order to fit uh, snugly over the top of that framework. So we'll move that to 120. Occlusal offset, you definitely want to have this negative 150. I even bump it to minus 175 because I always assume that those frame, those uh, those uh, veneering structures are not going to fit absolutely perfect over there. They're going to need some adjustment, and usually my occlusion is a little off. Proximal contact strength at 25. Occlusal contact strength minus 25. Now these are very important. These minimal thicknesses. You're going to want to set the minimal thicknesses for both the uh, radial at 500 and the occlusion I actually bring this to 500 as well okay you just want these things to get good proposals with these multi-layers you want the minimal thicknesses pretty low now if you want to change that after you get the proposal it's 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 certainly your choice so that is for the crown veneering structure now let's go to crown framework these will be the frameworks underneath the, the crown so un underneath the abutment teeth these are the frameworks uh, spacer, uh, generally I'm going to keep it at 80 because a lot of times these are going to be uh, zirconia, especially if I'm doing CAD on or Vita rapid layer, and I cement those. So when you cement a restoration, you want the spacer to be a little bit lower. Minimal thickness, these are very, very important. You want these very low at 500. Minimal thickness radial, again 500. Margin thickness is going to, uh, we want to keep this somewhere in the 70 range, 70, 80 range. Again, telescope angle is pretty important. You don't, you do not want a real low parallel telescope angle. I think I would keep this somewhere in the neighborhood of seven. Okay, so and we know all about the geometry of the instruments and the undercuts. So that will be for the abutment frameworks, and for the pontic frameworks, that's pretty simple. We don't have anything underneath there, no spacer. But what I will do is, is generally I'll push this uh, a little bit negative for the gingival spacing. No lingual opening angle, but I also will give it just a bit of a telescope at about seven. Okay, so that takes care of the veneering structure and the crown and pontic framework parameters for multi-layer. I will definitely get into many videos on how those designs actually work. The main thing to remember is always make sure you have the minimal thicknesses set real low uh, for both and also you have uh, the telescope angle up a little bit high and have the spacer a little bit higher for the veneering structure and then uh, you should be okay. Okay, in the very last video we'll cover the models.